Seoul, South Korea, sitting with three of the most popular people in Hollywood. Namaste. 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 What is the most dangerous thing each of you did on camera? The most dangerous thing you could do is just not drink enough water for the day, you know what I mean? <laughs> did anybody go through like dehydration? Oh also? yeah, that kind of stuff was yeah. more normal. What are the aspects that you've grown the most between the two films? There's the natural evolution that hopefully everyone goes through from 23 to 28. Your character has been described as psychotic and evil and sadistic. Yes, it's just exploring those shadow bits of yourself. This just made him more terrifying. <laughs> How long did you take to get in and out of your still suit? It was pretty quick. I heard you say in one of the interviews that you were jealous of the other people because they got to wear different things, but you were in that suit the whole time. But you looked so good in that suit. Thank you, you so much. It's to you. Do you believe me? This is a form of power that our world has not yet seen. The ultimate power. Hi everybody, I'm Sakshma Srivastava from India and I hope that all of you are happy and healthy. I am in Seoul, South Korea, sitting with three of the most popular people in Hollywood right now. Hello! Hello. Namaste. 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 Welcome to the show. I'm gonna come to you first, Zendaya. I want to ask you that, given that how much love you have for your character, but every character has a gray shade, is there something you didn't like about your character? Actually, I didn't because like she, Yeah, because she could be flawed in some <sighs> way. I mean, definitely flawed. Um, I think all, all characters we play, I mean, they're human, right? Most of them. Um, so yeah, flawed for sure. Um, I don't know if there's something I disliked about her. Um, if anything, I think the most complicated part about her was, was trying to figure out how someone who is supposed to be a warrior can fall in love. I'm here, I'm here. It's been a while since you've had one of those nightmares. Tell me, what was it about? And if they can, who they're, who they're falling in love with, I think it, it is, is deeply uh, difficult for her. So I think trying to find the balance of, of this strength, but also allowing her to be vulnerable, I think is something that is very, very difficult for her and thus difficult for me mm -hmm. to find for her because I want to stay true to who she is. And I don't think that the concept of love is, was ever even something that she allowed herself to think about ever feeling. So um, I don't think I dislike that, but um, I think that becomes the challenge is trying to portray and understand her. But you were wonderful and like, Thank you. I fell in love with Chani because of the way you portrayed her. So you were amazing. Thank you so much. I want you to know I will love you as long as I breathe. You will never lose me as long as you stay who you are. Consider what you're about to do before the trade is. I'm gonna come to you, Timothy. Everybody's been talking about the senior actors that He's grown so much between the first and the second film. I want to ask you, do you feel that there is this growth in you that has happened? And what are the aspects that you've grown the most between the two films? Wow, big question. I mean, uh, great question, but Thank uh, you. I really wouldn't know how to answer that. I feel like there's the natural evolution that hopefully everyone goes through from 23 to 28. Mm -hmm. You're still growing and searching and finding yourself. Um, as it relates to the film, I feel like the character is just simply where he is, you know, and I'd done a different film called The King where there's a similar Henry V arc of someone who's reluctant to come into power that does, but it was simply in one movie, you know. Mm -hmm. This happened to be, you know, three years apart, so yeah. the journey got split. Mm -hmm. uh, but I was very much yearning on the first movie to, to be the Paul and play the Paul that was more in his shoes. That's just not where the story was. Okay. So, my honest answer. So it's not what do you call it? The transition is natural. I would say it's natural. Yeah. I would say it's natural. Seamless. That's nice. Yeah. Fade Rother. He's psychotic. Austin, um, your character has been described as psychotic and evil and sadistic and all the things that are bad. But when somebody actually meets you, this is how I feel, you appear to be very kind and calm and sweet. How do you create that kind of aura on screen when you're, when you're nothing like that in real life? Mm. It's, it's just exploring those shadow bits of yourself, you know, and, and of humanity in general. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and it's finding things that you may relate like how easy somebody might kill a mosquito, you know? 
Yeah. But and and then you know using that as or or an analogy of you know testing a pen. You know how you would test a pen on a piece of paper, and then imagining if you were to be testing a knife on on, on somebody. Mm-hmm. So it's it's like you, you care as much as you would testing a pen on a piece of paper, yeah. as you would to test a knife on a human being. Um, those types of things that that keep it from feeling like judging him as bad or something. You know? mm-hmm. This just made him more terrifying. <laughs> so yeah. He's just he was an example you use. That's great. I mean, um, also the film was physically very challenging. There is so much that you all are doing. Uh, did anybody get injured on set or was on the brink of an injury? I don't, I don't, think, think, I don't think so. I don't think anybody got injured. It's really? It's no. Yeah. yeah. What is the most dangerous thing each of you did on camera for this movie? Like the single most dangerous, and we can go to each of you. Single most dangerous. I feel like, thankfully, mm-hmm. uh, we have a great team of people that made sure everyone was very mm-hmm. safe yeah. mm-hmm. and protected and, and looked after. I think, I mean, the most dangerous thing you could do is just not drink enough water for the day, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> did anybody go through like dehydration? Did anybody faint on oh, set? Oh yeah, yeah, that kind of stuff was yeah. more normal. But yeah. but then again, there was lots of people making sure that everybody was hydrated. Right. There was lots of, right. you know, waters going around and fans and mm-hmm. umbrellas and, mm-hmm. you know, so everybody was really looked after, which I think um, is a testament to, you know, the kind of set that Denny. How long did you take to get in and out of your still suit? Because that looks so complicated. <laughs> you know, towards the end there, it was it was pretty quick. I feel 20 like you, minutes. you figure out how to yeah. like, how to get, Struggle. I had to figure out how to get in and out of it myself because mm-hmm. I get a little like, yeah. you know what I mean? You did have it down yeah, by so. the end. I heard you say in one of the interviews that you were jealous of the other people because they got to wear different things, but you yeah. were in that suit the whole time. But you looked so good in that suit. Thank I don't you. think you needed another <laughs> costume. So Thank don't you. feel bad about it. Thank you. And Same here. Thank you so much for your time, the three of you. I wish we had more time. We had just five minutes. But uh, hopefully we'll meet again. And all the best for the film and Thank for the so many much. more films that I'm sure you all will do. It's, this is young Hollywood we're talking about. So all the best and thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. This prophecy is how they enslave us. Johnny! You are not prepared for what is to come. Hello, Brett. Namaste. Namaste.